Kurelde means creative village, a place where, where artists and the community can come together. Creolta School of Art got started in 1975 by a wonderful individual who was an artist himself, a philanthropist and a successful businessman named Bill Jenkins. And it was started uh, based on the concept that the art should be something that should work in all aspects of community life, where everyone could feel comfortable, young and old, people from different backgrounds could come and work and learn from professional artists how to paint, how to photograph and how to sculpt and basically just enjoy a richer life as a result of it. Every summer, we showcase in a jury exhibition the best work from our best students from the past year. So it's a wonderful representation of all the things that are taught at Creole there. It's the different ways of painting and drawing, different styles of photography, sculpture, pottery, abstract work, representational work. It's a mix of everything we do and teach at Creole there. It's quiet, it's calm, and it's a strong, creative environment. When I'm away from it, I feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be, and when I'm here, I'm like a plant that's planted in the best dirt, getting the right amount of sunshine and water, and, and I love it here. To me, the school is an amazing opportunity to just branch out and reach children uh, who may not normally get a chance to, to have art in their education. And it's a home. It's a home where they feel like they're comfortable in this environment. So we were blessed with a beautiful piece of property uh, by our founders. While we're completely an independent organization, we do a lot of things for free and at no charge to the community. We have our wonderful exhibitions in three galleries. We do outreach programs, scholarship programs, and even the programs that we charge a fee for, we cannot really charge of what it really costs to operate all of these programs. Because if we did, only the most wealthy or most privileged in our society could really afford it. So we're constantly looking for additional funding and for additional resources to make all of these things possible. One wish for Creole Day School of Arts. Keep us, keep, keep running, um, keep operating. Um, give us, you know, the chance to keep branching out and reaching out so that we continue to, to generate revenue so we can, you know, operate our offices and, and buy supplies and keep hiring new teachers. I mean, the biggest wish would be to have the, uh, the community, Orange, Seminole, uh, Osceola, all our surrounding communities to know about Creole Day. I mean, there's so many people that come up and say, I had no idea this was even here. It's just like a little hidden treasure. It's a diamond, and it's been here for so long, since the 70s, that now, you know, it's time for these people that come into Florida to know about it. The most joy about being at Creole Day is the opportunity to work with different people every day and to see the positive impact that the arts can have on everyday life. We live in such a busy, busy, busy world and we tend to forget what's inside us that needs to come out creatively. Everybody who's been here has, has grown artistically and as people, they, they grow, they grow individually, they grow stronger. Because as you work with your art and your medium, you, your confidence grows and that carries over into other places.
So I, I'd say just about everyone I've met here grows. That's the essence of Creole Day. Thank you.